Hey guys, what's going on? It's OSAS from iOS Gadget Hacks, and I'm here to show you guys how to download videos and music directly onto your iPhone. Um, so as most of you guys know, it's pretty complicated when you're trying to download things that aren't via iTunes, because that's just kind of how Apple rolls. So um, the first application I'm going to show you is called Infuse 3. You can find the link in the full tutorial, um, and we're just going to click on that. And as you can see, I already have a video here. But to add a video, you simply just tap on that. And then you can see the options for adding a video. So FTP via iTunes, of course. This is as well as iTunes um, via other apps. So that's Dropbox, Gmail, and then Network Share. Um, but the easiest way to do it would be via browser. So we're going to tap on that. And as you can see here, it gives you these two um, addresses. So on the device which has your videos or whatever, your videos or your movies, um, that can be another phone, that could be most likely a laptop or a computer, we're going to type in this URL and then drag and drop the movie files that we want. So I'm going to take this over here to my computer and show you guys exactly what I mean. Alright, so I'm here on my computer and as you can see I'm typing in the URL. Um, and I'll just click enter, it'll take me here where it's loading. So you can see again, there's the video that I've already uploaded. And here I can tap on this and it'll take me to where I can upload movies or I can simply drag and drop movies from um, my desktop. So here I'll just add part two since it's small so that you guys can see and then drop it there. It says it already exists. Let's get part one, actually. So I'll get part one, which is right here. And I'll just drop it. And then you see I have part one again because I accidentally added it twice. Um, but if I want to delete that, I can go ahead and just tap on it and click on delete. And it will, of course, delete it. And there you go. And then of course you can play it from here or now that I've added it to my iPhone I can go and show you guys what it looks like on my iPhone. So here we are back on the iPhone and I'm just going to go back, close out of here, and then boom. There is my second video. Click on it, Boys Get Together Part 1, and of course I can play it right from here. Chris, look for me! Um, so that's, that's pretty much the gist of the app. It's called Infuse 3. Again, you can add files just from the browser instead of hooking up. You can see I have no cords at all. It's just I drag and drop my videos and then it's added to my iPhone and I can watch it inside of the app. So that's that. Um, and then another option is to use what I call, or what is called, video downloader. So there are a bunch of video downloaders um, if you search for it on Google or in the app store itself but this is just called video downloader and let's get back to the the main app and pretty much it's just a browser it's a browser where it allows you to download videos so one of the sites that I frequent is break so if I go to break.com I can click on let's just click on this I can click on a video here hey guys, my name is Omar. This is and you can see this little button right here where I can tap and download. Now also, if I go back, all the videos on this page I can actually download by clicking on this, the share icon right here. I'll tap on that and then you can see it says download all. I tap on download all and those downloads will show up here in the download section. And once they're done downloading, they'll appear in the file section. So as you can see, I was just watching that video. It's there. Um, and of course, as with any video, you just tap on it. And it'll play. So all your saved video files, again, this is video files, will be in the file section. So that's pretty much the, the, the gist of the app. Um, again, your videos will be in the file section. You can use the browser to find videos. Um, of course, sites like SoundCloud or YouTube, you won't be able to download items from those sites. 
um, or videos from those sites. So that's really it. That's um, Video Downloader. Again, this is the free version. They do have a pro version, which is $4, I believe, in the Play Store. Um, but if you're just trying to download videos and keep it very simple, then, of course, the free version is perfectly adequate for you. And finally, just another way to actually add videos. So if your friend sends you an email with a video or even a music link, um, you can just go in here. I have an example email that I sent to myself. So this SoundCloud link, I can just simply open it up, of course. It'll take me to the SoundCloud file that was shared with me. And using, again, the share icon, I can add it to my home screen. So I'm going to add this to my home screen and you can see it's right here. So every time I click on this, it'll take me directly to that song and I can play it. So while it's obviously not inside of my playlist, my music player, it's still on my phone and I can just click on it as long as I have an internet connection or data connection and play the song. So you could technically create a folder with a bunch of songs just like this that you've downloaded um, via email or however your friend sent it to you. And another quick way to do it is to open it up in Dropbox. So if somebody sends me a movie file or a video file, I mean, or a, a song file, I can just open that up. So here's, a, here's another song file. Here's the same video file that I shared with you guys earlier. You can just click on that and boom, open in Dropbox. It'll take me to Dropbox. And here, I have it already saved. And so, within Dropbox, I have pretty much my own music player. So, since I already have it in Dropbox, I can click on that, click play, and my song is there. So, it all depends on kind of how you want to work around, work around um, how iPhones make it really difficult for you to, to download things directly onto your phone. But using Dropbox, using Video Downloader, using Infuse 3 are all great ways to actually get around this problem and play and download videos and music right onto your iPhone. So um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section under the video and also make sure to like and subscribe and check out more Gadgetech videos on our channel. Thanks for watching guys.